The Jewish name has historically varied, encompassing throughout the centuries several different traditions. This article looks at the onomastics practices of the Jewish people, that is, the history of the origin and forms of proper names. Jews have historically used Hebrew patronymic names. In the Jewish patronymic system the first name is followed by either ben or bat, son of, and daughter of, respectively, and then the father's name, bar, son of, in Aramaic, is also seen. Permanent family surnames exist today but only gained popularity among Sephardic Jews in Iberia and elsewhere as early as the 10th or 11th century and did not spread widely to the Ashkenazic Jews of Germany or Eastern Europe until the 18th and 19th century, where the adoption of German surnames was imposed in exchange for Jewish emancipation. An exception was members of the Kahanim priestly caste and Levites descendants of Levi who performed certain religious duties, who had always appended the surname Cohen and Levi respectively modern spelling in English may vary which was usually preceded by Ha, meaning the, in Hebrew. Although Ashkenazi Jews now use European or modern Hebrew surnames for everyday life, the Hebrew patronymic form is still used in Jewish religious and cultural life. It is used in synagogue and in documents in Jewish law such as the ketubah marriage contract. Topic: <inaudible> Early Biblical Era. The name conferred upon a person in early biblical times was generally connected with some circumstance of that person's birth. Several of Jacob's sons are recorded as having received their names in this manner. Genesis chapter 30. Generally, it was the mother who chose the name, as in the case of Jacob's sons, but there were occasions on which the father chose the child's name, such as in Genesis chapter 16 verse 15, 17 19, and 21 to 2. Occasionally, persons other than the parents were the name givers, as in the cases of Moses Exodus chapter 2 verse 10 and Solomon 2 Samuel chapter 12 verse 25. It appears to have been the custom in early biblical times to confer a name immediately upon birth, but in later periods a name was given to a boy at circumcision compare Luke chapter 1 verse 59 to 221. Before the Babylonian exile, it was not common practice to name children after their relatives, even in the royal family. None of the 21 kings of Judah was named after a predecessor, or after David, the founder of the dynasty. On the other hand, a son of Jonathan and of King Saul were each named Maribal 2 Samuel 21 verse 7 and following. Instead of repeating the exact name of an ancestor, however, it was customary to make use of one of the elements of the family name. Thus, Ahitub has two sons, Ahijah and Ahimelech. Three of Saul's family members have the element Baal in the altered form Besheth in their names. As a consequence of this avoidance of repetition, a single name was as a rule sufficient to identify a person. It became traditional to identify a son by his father's name and a chosen name, like Jozaniah ben Shaphan Ezekiel chapter 8 verse 11 only in later years of Hebrew history. Topic. Significance It is probable that, as in other ancient societies, a name carried spiritual significance. A large majority of the 2,800 personal names found in the Hebrew Bible shared among about 15,000 persons convey a specific meaning. The meanings of the remainder have been obscured either through textual corruption or insufficient current understanding of comparative philology. In addition, a considerable number of these names are probably eponyms. There is little doubt that this applies to the names of the Israelite clans, each of which was assumed to be descended from the descendants of Jacob, described in Numbers 26. Names may be derived from the order of birth, as in the cases of Akab and Jacob, whose names probably mean posthumous. Jephthah implies firstborn, as does Becker, while names like Manasseh, Nahum, and Nehemiah refer probably to children who have come to take the place of others that have died in childhood. The idea of relationship is expressed in Ahab, probably originally Ahiab, Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 21. Personal peculiarities may give rise to a name, as Laban, white, or blonde, Gideon, maimed, or Haram, with pierced nose. Personality may be referred to, as in the names Job, assailant, and Barak, lightning. There are no occupational names in the Bible corresponding to Anglo-Saxon names like Smith of England or Muller of Germany, but names taken from objects are found, especially among females. 
The name Rebecca Rivka seems to be derived from a sheep rope, Penina from pearl, and Karen Hapich from a box of face paint. Abstract names seem to have been given primarily to women, such as Manoa rest", and Mihal power". Jacobs gives 84 names applied to 120 different persons derived from animals and plants. Leah is generally known as a word for cow, and Rachel for you appropriate since both are considered matriarchs. Oreb, raven, and Ziev, wolf, were princes of the Midianites although Ziev was also an appellation of Benjamin, and Caleb, the dog, was the founder of the chief Judean tribe. Akbor, mouse, and Shafan, coney, also occur. Jonah is the equivalent of dove, Zipporah of bird, and Deborah of bee. Esther's Jewish name, Hadassah, means myrtle. Citing these animal inspired names, Robertson Smith and others have attempted to find evidence of totemism among the ancient Hebrews. Other Jewish names taken from animals include Ari, lion. Ariel means, God is my lion, Dov, bear, and Tzvi or Zvi. Deer. Topic. Compound names A distinctive characteristic of Bible onomastics is the frequency of composite names, which form at times even complete sentences, as in the case of Isaiah's son Shir Jashub, the remnant shall return, and Hephzibah, my pleasure is in her. Sometimes these composites have a preposition as their first element, as Bishlam equals, with peace, Ezra chapter 4 verse 7 and Lemuel, belonging to God. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 4, but in the majority of cases these composite names are Theophorus, referring to, or actually mentioning, the deity, either by the name of YHWH or by the name of El. The specific name of the Hebrew God appears at the beginning as Jo and at the end as IAH, thus, Jonathan is a doublet of Elnathan, and Joser, YHWH has helped, is the same as Joazer, YHWH has helped. A whole theology may be deduced from the large number of biblical names referring to acts, actions, and attributes of the deity, thus, YHWH gives Elnathan, Jonathan, Nathaniel increases the family, Eliasaph, Joseph is gracious, Elhanan, Hananiel, John, Ananiah has mercy, Jeremiel blesses, Barachel, Barachia loves, Jedidiah, Eldad helps. Eliezer, Azrael, Azariah, benefits, Gamaliel, holds fast, Jehoahaz, Ahaziah, is strong, Uziel, Azajah, Uzziah, delivers, Elpale, Eliphale, comforts, Nehemiah, heals, Raphael, conceals, Elzaphan, Zephaniah, establishes, Eliakim, Jehoiakim, knows, Eliada, Jehoiada, remembers, Zechariah, Sees. Hazal, Jehazel. Hears. Elishama, Hoshama. Answers. Aniah, Ananiah, Janai. Speaks. Amariah. Is praised. Jehaliel. Is asked. Shiltiel. Comes. Eliatha. Lives. Jehiel. Exalts, uplifts. Jeremiah. Thunders. Raamia, Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 7. Gladdens. Jadiel, Jedia. Judges. Elishaphat, Jehoshaphat, Shephesha, Daniel, is just. Jehozadak, Zedekiah, is king. Elimelech, Malchiel, is lord. Belia, is great. Gedalia, is perfect. Jotham, is high. Jehoram, is glorious. Jochebed, is incomparable. Michael, literally, who is like God. Besides these distinct names of God other divine names are used, as Adoni in Adoniram, and Melich in Nathan Melich and Ebed Melich, and Baal in Esh Baal changed for special reasons to Ishbosheth. In some cases names of relationship seem to be used as applied to the deity compare Abiel, Abijah, and Abimelech, signifying in each case the fatherhood of God, and in this way Abinadab would correspond to Jehonadab and Abiezer to Eliezer. The same applies to the elements a brother and amm. Uncle. As, however, some of these words are applied to families, not individuals, the whole must be taken as a sentence. Avahud means, My father is glorious, referring to God. On the same principle, it must be assumed that some verbal names are theophorous, and refer to the action of the deity, Nathan being the abbreviation of Elnathan, God gives, 
Shafat of Jehoshaphat, God judges. Thus Ahaz appears in a form corresponding to Jehoahaz in an inscription of Tiglath Pileser III. Many of the Theophorus endings are contracted into A, I, or I, as in Shebna, Hosea, Talti, and Shimei. A few names are adjectival, and may contain references to the deity, Baruch, blessed, David, beloved, Amos, strong. Some names have grammatical endings which it is difficult to interpret, as Oth in Shelamith, the final I in Omri and Barzillai probably refers to a tribal origin. Many names ending in on are animal names, as Ephron, small deer, Nashon, small serpent, compare Samson, small son. Topic: <laughs> Post-exilic names. After the exile to Babylon there appeared a tendency toward the use of foreign names, the literal significance of which was disregarded, and this tendency became more and more prominent as time went on. Biblical names ending in a as in the books of Ezra and Nehemiah are Aramaic. Shamshirai 1 Chronicles 8 verse 26, while Mordecai is probably derived from Marduk, or may be derived from pure myrrh. As are Belteshazzar, Daniel chapter 10 verse 1, Shenazar, 1 Chronicles chapter 3 verse 18, and Sheshbazar, Ezra chapter 1 verse 8, from other deities. There is in this period a tendency also toward descriptive and adjectival names with the definite article prefixed, which easily gave rise to such surnames as Hakas, Hakadan, and Halasheth. Ezra chapter 2 verse 61, 8, 12, Nehemiah chapter 3 verse 12. Compare the form Hakole, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 8, in the Hebrew. In the Hellenistic period, Greek names became quite usual among the Jews, especially those of Alexander, Jason, and Antigonus. Even the name of a god like Apollo occurs Acts chapter 18 verse 24. Other names are Apollonius, Hyrcanus, Lysimachus, Demetrius, Dosa, Nicanor, Pappus, Patroclus, Philo, Sosa, Symmachus, Tryphon, Zeno. The same occurs among women, as Alexandra and Priscilla. Roman names also occur, as Antonius, Apella, Drusus, Justinus, Justus, Marcus, Rufus, Tiberius, and Titus. It was during this period that the practice arose of giving a son the name of his grandfather, as was done in the high priestly family, the members of which were named alternately Onias and Simon from 332 to 165 BCE. Similarly, a little later, in the family of the Hillelites, the names Gamaliel and Judah succeed each other with only an occasional occurrence of Simon and Hillel. Toward the end of the period, owing to the intermixture of foreign languages, the use of double names for the same person began to be adopted, as in the instances of Simon Peter, John Mark, Thomas Didymus, Herodes Agrippa, and Salome Alexandra. Topic. Talmudic period Among the names in the Talmud there is a considerable proportion of Greek ones. A large number also are Aramaic, ending in Arai, Abba, Huna, and Papa are instances of the former. Even Bible names were transformed in this direction. Hanina instead of Ananiah, Abuya instead of Abijah, while others were shortened, as Lazar for Eliezer. Many biblical names received renewed popularity owing to the distinction of their bearers, as those of Gamaliel, Hillel, and Ola. The tendency toward double names existed here, as Sarah Miriam, Johanan Joseph, and Mahaliel Judah. Converts to Judaism, like Aquila, Monobaz, and Helena, retained their pagan names as was the custom also in the early Christian church. There was some objection to foreign names among the Jews of this period, yet legend declares that the high priest Simon promised Alexander the Great that all the children of priestly families born in the year following his visit to Jerusalem would be named Alexander, after him. In the adoption of double names during this early period an attempt was made to translate the Hebrew terms into corresponding Greek, as Ariston for Toby, Bothus for Ezra, Justus for Zadok, Philo for Jedidah, Theodorus for Nethaniel, and Zosimus for Hyam. It was somewhat rare for the same name to be used by both sexes. In biblical times this occurs with regard to the names Abigail, Abijah, Athaliah, Chushan, Ephah, Micah, Nahash, Shelamith, Zibiah. In Talmudic times, with regard to Ibu, Johanan, Nahorai, Pasi, Shalom, the only later instances that may be cited are Jeroham, Mazel Tob, Nahama, Menuha, Sima, Tamar, Bongodas, and Bien Li Vying. To wear a man's name seemed as objectionable as wearing men's clothes. It was already noticed in Talmudic times that the use of family names had died out. 
The name of Rabbi Meir was said to be derived from an experience at school which was regarded as being of good omen. It is recommended not to name a child after enemies of the Jews, like Sisera and Pharaoh, but to use the names of the patriarchs i.e. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Post-Talmudic period As the Jews spread throughout the lands bordering the Mediterranean, they drew upon other languages for their personal names while still retaining biblical ones, and they were especially prone to adopt names ending in L. These new names became exceptionally popular in Italy. To this source must be traced the new name Hushiel, composed on the same plan as the biblical ones ending in L. The kings of the Khazars, so far as their names are known, wavered between pure biblical names, like Obadiah, and local names, like Bulan. The Karaites in the same neighborhood adopted Tatar names, one of them being known as Toktamish, but elsewhere Karaiti names are mostly Arabic and Persian. The custom of calling one of the sons, generally the eldest, after the paternal sometimes the maternal grandfather, of which only nine instances are known during the Talmudic period, became more popular, especially in European states. Maimonides' grandfather was Joseph ben Isaac ben Joseph ben Obadiah ben Solomon ben Obadiah, for instance, and certain families seem to have similarly confined themselves to a few chosen names. Thus, in the Kalanimus family there occurs Meshulam b. Moses b. Ithiel b. Moses b. Kalanimus b. Meshulam b. Kalanimus b. Moses b. Kalanimus b. Jekuthiel b. Moses b. Meshulam b. Ithiel b. Meshulam only five names among fourteen persons throughout three centuries. As a consequence certain names became characteristic of certain districts, Japheth and Caleb in Greece, and hence among the Karaites, Kalanimus in South Italy, Sheshit and Joab in Rome, Sinai and Pessa in Germany. Some of the older names were revived. Mayer, for example, of which only two previous instances before, had been known, the Tana Mayer and the Mayer mentioned by Josephus. Samson was never used by Jews before the 11th century. Kinuyim The most striking tendency of the post-Talmudic period is the general choice of local names by the Jews for their civic relations. This led to the adoption of two names, one for civic purposes, known as the Kinui probably from the Arabic Kunya, the other Shem ha -Kadesh for use in the synagogue and in all Hebrew documents. The latter, the sacred Name, was as far as possible associated with the former, and was often a translation of a civic one, e.g., Asael for Diophato, Manoah for Tronchio, Hyam for Vita. At times the civic name was merely a contraction of the sacred one, e.g., Lesser for Eliezer, Sender for Alexander. In other cases mere similarity in sound was sufficient to determine the sacred name, as Man for Menahem, Kalman for Kalanimus, and the like. Especially noteworthy was the use made of Jacob's blessing to transfer a personal name from the civic to the sacred sphere. Judah being compared to a lion's whelp in Jacob's blessing, Judah became Leo, or Lo, in lay relationship, and Ephraim became Fishlin. Later on these name equations became so usual that they formed doublets, which were almost invariably found together, as Dov Bar, Naphtali Hirsch, Solomon Zalman, Judah or Aryeh Lob, Benjamin Wolf, and these again gave currency to similar correlative names, as Uri Phoebus. Titular abbreviations It was during the Middle Ages that the somewhat curious custom arose of combining the abbreviation of a title with the initials of a name to form a single personal name. This almost invariably implies frequency of mention, and, therefore, celebrity. The best known examples are those of Rashi and Rambam, who are hardly ever quoted in rabbinical texts except by these names, but there exists a large number of similar contractions. A somewhat similar use of a title is the combination with Messer, as in the Italian Messer Leon, while in Provence the honorary prefixes N, for men, and Na, for women, are combined with the name to form Angusic, N. Joseph, Nabona, etc. Apart from these tendencies, the general trend of nomenclature among Jews in the Middle Ages was to adopt that of the countries in which they lived, the given names being often identical with those of the surrounding peoples, and other means of identification being derived mainly from localities or offices. Certain peculiarities of various countries may be taken separately. Mizrahim 
Among the Mizrahim Arabic-speaking Jews living in the Middle East it was quite common to replace their Hebrew names with relevant Arabic ones, whenever they bore a religious note and were deemed sacred to both Jews and Muslims, so Abraham turned into Ibrahim, Aharon into Harun, David into Daud, Moshe into Musa, and Shlomo into Solomon and Salman. The indication of a family's elevated religious status, which also gained its members the reverence of their non-Jewish neighbors, was expressed in Arabic through their name. One has to note that such names were often given by the surrounding non-Jewish communities, who confused the appropriate religious terms of the halakha. An example of this is the name Nader, which is the Arabic translation of Nazir, the Hebrew root word Nizer pronounced Nazir means delineation or designation, and refers to the status of Nazirat in which a person makes a vow to isolate himself from certain matters, such as intoxicating beverages, and other material luxuries the absence of which would deaden his cravings for physical pleasures, as well as enhance his spiritual sensitivity and further his quest to attain spiritual heightenings, as well as things that are considered being tamiya spiritually clean, such as corpses. Yet in the Arabic environment a family of Kahanim descendants of Aaron and priests of the Beit Hamakdash, would often be described as such through the name Nazir, or Nader. The obvious reason behind the wrong usage of the term Nazir and its attribution to Kahanim, is the fact that the Mizrahi Kahanim had always strictly adhered to the relevant Halashik laws which entail that they avoid coming into contact with corpses, lest they lose their status of purity, and which is similar to the rules that govern the status of Nazarites, as well as their perception amongst their surrounding Arab neighbors, especially the Coptic Christians, as being consecrated vowed to the religious service of the Beit Hamakdash. Personal peculiarities also gave rise to a Jew's name in the Arab world, as Abayad referred to fair skin, afia possessor of strength, health or well-being, to wheel to a tall person. It was also quite usual that Hebrew names were translated into their corresponding meaning in the Arabic language, such as Aden into Latif, or Laut Fi, Eliezer into Mansur, Gersham into Garib, Masliach into Maimon, Samea into Said, and Tovia into Hassan, or Hassun. Common segments of Mizrahi society adopted local Arabic names, such as Abdallah, Abdella, Abdo and Abudi all meaning servant of the Lord, Farag relief, Masood fortunate, Murad aspired to, Nesim fresh breeze, Saba morning, Saul ease, Salama, Salem and Selim all meaning unharmed, Zaki well smelling, because of their beautiful meanings, or the good fortune they seemed to evoke. As had been the case within the Ashkenazi Central and East European Jewish cultural environment, Mizrahim bore names that related to their trades and occupations, such as Albaz also Elbaz, Elvis meaning falconer, Ababbul Abitbal, Botbal all meaning drummer, drum maker, or seller, Hayek and Kayat which both mean tailor, Hakim physician, or sage, Nagar carpenter, Sabig dyer of cloth, Sabin soap maker, Sanua laborer, Seruf or Asaraf money changer, Shenhav also Chen Shenhav, Shenhavi, Chenhavi, all referring to ivory and mean ivory craftsman or trader. Yemenite Jewish names were often adopted by place names such as Zanani from Sana'a, Taizi from Taiz, Harazi from Jabal Haraz, and Damari from Damar. Other family names indicate pre-Islamic Jewish origins such as Kahalani and Korath B'nai Korath. Additionally, some Yemenite Jewish was related to their occupation such as Tabib, Taviv doctor, and Qafih poet. Mizrahim sought to avert the Ein Ha-Raa and envy by never calling the dearest of their children especially, the firstborn son by the real name. In their quest to protect a child, parents would even revert to such drastic measures as giving it a very unattractive nickname, such as Garbua the one who is clad in rags, which has later become a family name. Contrary to Ashkenazim, the Mizrahim applied the rulings of Talmud Shabbat 134, which provides that a child be called after a living relative. This led to the creation of another Mizrahi particularity, where a child could be named Sarah Bat Sarah, or Abraham Ben Abraham, which as per Ashkenazi customs, would only have been applied to a Ger Jerem being convertites to Judaism, and thus, deemed having become B'nai B'rith, that is to say children of the covenant, holding the status of children of the patriarch Abraham and the matriarch Sarah. Name giving also served as a social welfare tool, whereby poor parents sought to secure the support of a benefactor for their child, by naming him after a wealthy relative or employer, who would show his acceptance to look after the welfare of the child by presenting it with a first set of clothing, and later on support him with marriage expenses and the like. 
The Mizrahim also reverted to this measure, as a means to strengthening the family ties between a married woman and her blood relatives, whereby a newly born child would be named after the elder of the mother's family, or one of its notables, and thus, retain his material benevolence, as well as underline the husband's expressed will to align himself to his spouse's family and gain their goodwill, or at least not to estrange his wife from her roots. A peculiarity of the Arabic onomatology is the kunya, the by name given to a father after the birth of his son, by which he is named after the latter Abu, Abo, or Abu followed by the name of his son. It may be added here that Abu al-Walid is a kunya or by name for Jonah. Abu also forms family names, as in the case of Abu Darham, or Abob. Here it has to be noted, that the word Abu was sometimes used in the sense of owner especially when it was followed by an object that was of importance to the manner in which the surrounding community perceived the person in question. The most prominent example for this is Abu Hasra owner of a straw mat, a descendant of a long line of Kabbalists and Pietists from Morocco born 1807 in Morocco, died 1880 in Egypt, buried in the village of Damishu, near Damanaur, in the governorate of Bahara, whose real name Yaakov ben Masoud has almost been forgotten, as he has become identified as Rabbi Abu Hasra since his pilgrimage from his homeland to Jerusalem, during which the boat he was on sank, yet he was miraculously saved because he hung on to his straw mat Hasra, which had been his only possession. For this the Egyptian population venerated him from that day on as a holy man and miracle worker, whose life had been protected by the Lord through a frail mat. Akin to this is the use of the Arabic ibn which is relatant to Hebraic ben like in Benjamin or ben Yamin, meaning son of, also spelled aben, avayan, avin, to form a family name amongst Mizrahim who lived in the eastern part of the Arab world. Among the best known of this formation are Ibn Aknan, Ibn Danan, hence Abandana, Ibn Latif, Ibn Migas, Ibn Verga. Those Jews who lived in the North Africa countries especially Morocco chose the use of the word O or sometimes spelled U, belonging to, which created the names Uhana, son of Hannah, also spelled Bohanna, Abuhana, Abuena, Ohayan, son of life, Onain, son of Yaqob, also spelled Waknan, Wanin. The Arabic article al appears in quite a number of names, as in al-Harisi. Other names of interest, given by Steinschneider in a long list of 800 Arabic names in the Jewish Quarterly Review Ix, Xiii, are Gayat in Spanish Gayat, Ibn Danan and Ibn al-Dayl, al-Haruni, the Aranide. The same as Cohen, Ibn Waqar, Ibn Zabara and Ibn Zimra, Haji applied to Karaites who had performed the pilgrimage to Jerusalem, Yahya equivalent to John or Judah. Morel is said to be derived from Samuel, Molko means, royal. Massa it is equivalent to Baruch, Mukadal, champion, would be a proper origin for the family name Makata. Najar and Nahara refer to carpentry, Sasson is merely a transcript of Sasson, lily. The proper names Said, Saad, and Sedan are equally popular among Jews and Arabs. Abbas, lion, corresponds to Judah, as Leo and the like in Europe. Very many Judeo-Arabic names are compounded of Abid, servant, as Abdallah and Abid al-Walid. Al-Faraj occurs as the name of the translator at Girgenti, and it is possibly the remote origin of the curious name of Admiral Farragut, whose grandfather came from Menorca. It is considered doubtful whether the name of the Kimis is Hebrew in that form, or whether it should be pronounced as an Arabic word, Kami, formed of wheat. Topic. Surname. Jews have historically used Hebrew patronymic names. In the Jewish patronymic system the first name is followed by either ben or bat, son of, and daughter of, respectively, and then the father's name, bar, son of, in Aramaic, is also seen. Permanent family surnames exist today but only gained popularity among Sephardic Jews in Iberia as early as the 10th or 11th century and did not spread widely to the Ashkenazic Jews of Germany or Eastern Europe until the late 18th and mid-19th century, when laws were passed mandating they adopt surnames. Thus, while many European and North American Jews now use European and German surnames for everyday life, the patronymic form is still used in Jewish religious and cultural life, and is common in Israel. It is used in synagogue and in documents in Jewish law such as the ketubah marriage contract. Many Sephardic Jews used the Arabic ibn instead of bat or ben when it was the norm. The Spanish family ibn Ezra is one example. 
Many immigrants to modern Israel change their names to Hebrew names, to erase remnants of diaspora life still surviving in family names from other languages. This is especially common among Ashkenazic Jews, because most of their European names do not go back far in history. Surnames were imposed by the German and Austro Hungarian empires in the 18th century, explaining why many Ashkenazi Jews have German or European sounding names. The newly assumed Hebrew names were sometimes based on phonetic similarity with their former European surname. Golda Meyerson became Golda Meir. A popular form to create a new family names is the false patronymic, using the prefix ben or bar, followed by words who are not the name of a parent. Examples include patriotic themes, such as Ben Ami, son of my people, or Ben Artzi, son of my country and terms related to the Israeli landscape, such as Bar Elon, son of the trees, also similar phonetically to the bearer's original family name Berlin. Another famous person who used a false patronymic is the first Israeli prime minister, David Ben-Gurion. His former family name was Grun, and he adopted the name Ben-Gurion, son of Gurion, not ben Avigdor, his father's name. Gurion was a Jewish leader in the period of the First Jewish-Roman War. Topic. Change of name Change of name was not an unusual occurrence in biblical times, if one may judge by the instances occurring among the patriarchs, and it seems to have been not altogether unknown in later times. Thus, Moses Benvenisti mentions a certain Obadiah who wandered from Germany to Turkey in 1654 and changed his name to Moses because the former name was unusual. Later in the Middle Ages a person who was dangerously sick would change his name in the hope that the angel of death, who summons persons by name, would be baffled thereby. This custom, known as Mashana Shem, is given in the Talmud and is mentioned by Judah Hasid. One of the names thus adopted was the appropriate one of Chaim. In order to prevent any misunderstanding at the resurrection the Kabbalists later recommended persons to learn a psalm the first and last verses of which began and ended with the first and last letters of their names. Particular care is to be taken in the writing of names in legal documents, the slightest error in which invalidates them. Hence there are quite a number of monographs on names, both personal and geographical, the first of which was that written by Sima Cohen, the best known is that of Samuel ben Phoebus and Ephraim Zalman Margulies entitled Tib Gittin. Topic. Superstitions It was thought that Jews of the same name should not live in the same town or permit their children to marry into each other's families, this seems to have some reference to exogamy. It is even urged that one should not marry a woman of the same name as one's mother, or that she should be required to change it. Even to the present day it is considered unlucky in Russia for a father-in-law to have the same name as the bridegroom. In other parts of Russia it is considered bad luck to name a child after a living relative. When several children have died in a family the next that is born has no name given to it, but is referred to as altar, Yiddish, limit or literally, old, or altar, the view being that the angel of death, not knowing the name of the child, will not be able to seize it. When such a child attains the marriageable age, a new name, generally that of one of the patriarchs, is given to it. For a somewhat similar reason it is considered unlucky in Lithuania to call an only child by its true name. Topic. Pen names It was customary for well-known authors of medieval times to be known by the titles of their works rather than by their own names. Thus, Jacob ben Asher is referred to as the Tur or the Baal ha Turim, Joseph Caro is known as the Bet Yosef, and Ezekiel Landau is noted by Yehuda, while even more frequently were authors known by contracted forms of their names, with the addition of some honorary prefix, as given above. Among contemporary Hebrew writers this practice is still more widely observed, though no honorary title is prefixed. A list is given by Moise Schwab in his repertoire. Most Yiddish writers appear to prefer to write under some pen name or pseudonym, and their example is at times followed by modern writers of Hebrew, though these, as a rule, prefer to give a name composed of their initials. Of course, other Jewish writers besides the above have adopted pen names. I. Zangwill has written under the names J. Freeman Bell in collaboration, Countess von S., and Marshalik, Mrs. Frankow is known as Frank Danby, and so on, but there is nothing specifically Jewish about this adoption of a pen name. 
Topic see also Jewish surnames Hebrew name List of Jewish nobility Family name Etymology German family name Etymology Jewish Encyclopedia Articles Polish surnames topic References topic Bibliography This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Singer, Isidore, et al., eds., 1901–1906. Names Personal. Jewish Encyclopedia. New York, Funk and Wagnalls Company. G. Buchanan Gray, Hebrew Proper Names, London, 1898, T. Noldick, in Shane and Black, ENCYC. BIBL, with extensive bibliography. Talmudic, Shor, in He Halus, Volume X, Hirsch Perez Chadges, Beatridge zur Nordsemitischen Onomatologie, Bakker, in Rejxiv. 42 47. Modern, Andreae, zur Volkskunde der Juden, pp. 120-128, Zuns, Neyman der Juden, in Jess. Schriften, e. 1-82, Lo, Lebensalter, pp. 92-109, Orient, Lit, v. 129-241, v. 42, 620, Steinschneider, in Hebr. Bibl pp. 556, 962, item, in ZDMG XXXII. 91, Hyamson, Jewish Surnames, in Jewish Literary Annual, 1903, pp. 53-78, M. Sablatsky, Lexicon der Pseudonym in Hebr. Schriftsteller, Berdichev, 1902. Topic. External links List of Hebrew given names at Wiktionary Gabin list of Jewish surnames, from a Polish business directory Family names of the Jews of Ethiopia, the Museum of the Jewish People at Beit Hatfasat My Hebrew Name Database Origins of a number of Ashkenazi Jewish surnames <laughs>